Welcome back everybody, this is Angel Arts for another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Huh. Somewhere over here. Yeah, over this way. Um, just keep climbing and hope that you don't fall. There we go, Cole. Hmm. What's that over there? A stool? Oh. Weird. Dalish. Firm, long bow grip, and grinning aids the belt, I think is what it said. Up there. I feel like we were up there, and then I just kind of... And then I had to fall all the way down here. Alright, no matter. Oh, those are our men. Okay. Can I go around? Hopefully I can get around. Motherly encouragement. Yeah, I really want to get to that other... There we go. Let's see if we can find another way up there again. Without having to go through all those Maker Forsaken Giants. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Silver Falls. Yeah, not this way. This is the wrong way. We have to go the other way, I think. Over the fence. There you go. Leave. We have to go all the way around. Might as well go to this one while we're at it. Oh, what do we have here? Discover the lion's pavilion. This looks nice. Lions, the Lions Pavilion. The Pavilion's uh, Lions Pavilion is a welcome rest for weary travelers through the Dales. Its most prominent feature is a statue of a muscled Valmont Emperor slaying a dragon, the symbol of the Dracon Dynasty. The Valmont's famed subtlety and grace clearly emerge with later generations. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, the Travels of Chantry Scholar by Brother Chenitivi. Okay. A Lover's Promise, Alina. If you found this and are still at the pavilion, leave immediately. As I passed, I saw a band of armed men close by. I fear they may attack the innocent travelers. Meet me instead in the old grove in Gracefine, where the prophet's laurel grows. Yours, Dayan. Hmm. Why am I still out here? Light this. supposed to do here? Dolores lights light a candle at the shrine. She is unable to do so this because of... Lights a candle set at the chantry each year and never so she is unable to do so this year because of the war. Light a candle at the shrine. I did. Or maybe these. I did a light a candle at the shrine. Or maybe there's candles over here. I'm not really sure what I should be doing here. 
I lit the candle. I don't know why I'm not. I lit torches. I guess that doesn't that doesn't count as a candle. Maybe I have to light it down here. Oh. Here we go. Quest completed. A lover's promise. Oh, it's near that. Still want to go to this estuarium. I'm not sure if I can get to it from here, but I'm gonna try. Dire stone. You can jump. Come on. There you go. No, not through here. I have to go up this way and around. Yeah, I have to go up this way and around. Rush of sights. That's a large structure that I hope I don't have to climb. Here we go. This should be it. Almost there. Here, I think I can get on foot from here. Thank you, though. one. <clears throat> what do we got? Horse? No. St a star me. Um, right. Right. I'm just gonna give it a try. See what I can get. That's not right. I can already tell that wasn't right. Oof, no, this isn't. I don't think. So. Wait, it might be right. Actually, it might be right. No. Yeah, no, it's not right. Okay, let's try this again. Um, The sun. Constellation Solium. There are two common interpretations regarding the history behind the constellation Solium, commonly referred to as the sun. The first is that it represents the fascinations of early people, such as Neromenians, predecessors to the ancient Aventer Imperium with all objects in the sky, the sun and moon in particular. Indeed, many, many believe proper depiction of Solium is as both. The second inter interpretation is that this constellation originally represented, excuse me, Algernon, the head of the El Elven pantheon, who was also known as the eldest of the sun. Modern scholars do not know which, if a, which either is the truth, from a study of the Dogian astronomy by the sister Oran Petrarchus. There's a babe over yonder. Motherly encouragement. There's a cave up there. There's something over there, and then there's Astrariums. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let's see what we can do from here. We're almost through this, guys. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And after this, I currently the only other map that we haven't discovered at all 
that we haven't explored a lot is the Blue Lions. That one. Which we can I can do after the, hopefully the next mission. I don't think the next mission is the point of no return. At least I hope oh, yeah, I definitely I wouldn't think it would be. It seems a little too early for that. And I would think they would make it much more obvious if it was the point of no return. Seems like a big deal though, like keeping Empress Celine from getting uh, assassinated. Ooh, what do we have here? Crystal Grace. Oh, and a big dro Oh, this is where the drop was. Betta's Travel Journal. 17 Herring. I don't want to go to Ferelden. I have to leave everything. My paintings, the cat, and worst of all, Mother's Little Garden. It's been such a comfort to me since her passing. I don't know what I'll do, but Lysol has little eaves to think about, and the war threatens to consume more of Orlais every day. 20 Herring. The cat had her kittens the day we left. Make her look after her, I cannot. We couldn't even take a little one for Eves, even though he begged. They were too small. They would have died without their mother. Four winter march. I'm so tired. We spotted a house in the forest, abandoned. There is a roof and some hay, and Lysel agrees that we can stay here for a day or two to recover. Later in winter march. Lysel and Eves have been, have been gone a long time. I haven't seen them in days. Mother made a bed for them upstairs, and I suppose Eves is still young. Young ones need their sleep. It's so good to have mother with us on this long journey. She always knows what to do. The day it rained. It rained today. Mother and I played a hiding game in the house. I found Liesel. She didn't like it when I found her. She was screaming about Eves. I stood at what I wrote before and I guess there is an Eves? I think he's our dog. Mother told Liesel to be quiet. She was ruining the game. Waterfall night. Mother says I bore her. She's just sick again, like she was back home. I didn't tend to her well then. She got sicker because of me. Not this time. I asked her what she needed. She says there's a waterfall close by and a wild crystal grace shrub growing at its edge. She wants me to get rose hips for her tea. Oh, It wasn't suicide. She just slipped and fell. Poor thing. That's so sad. <sighs> Alright, well. While we're up here, there looks like there's one more rift. At least one more. Make a forsaken rifts. All right, you all are going down. I hate you, despair demons. I hate you. Oh, oh that's not gonna be good. Dispel that. Wait. What are they? Ooh. Those demony things. Demony things! Cover me! Ugh, oh, that thing. Take that. Gotcha. Away with you. Good work, team. So we have enhanced walking bomb ring. Another one of those. We're getting a lot of those. Chateau de Thierry. Hmm. Another chateau. Who would have thought? Hmm. What do we got here? Whoa. Fancy house. Too quiet. They're here, watching, waiting, wanting. Be careful. Oh boy. Painting a Valrayo. This is creepy. Kinda like it. 
Very creepy indeed. Imperial Highway. Well, that just lit itself. Good sign. Oh, you know how the red lyrium makes the, haunt the houses haunted? This is one of those things. Torn Diary. The torn Diary page. It's not fair. I want to go outside. I can hear the guests downstairs. Another party. There's always another party. Mother and father bought me a present to make me feel better. To make me better. They're just trying to shut me up. Cook's scared of me. She still calls me my sweets, but she's scared. Still, she hasn't told father and mother. She's afraid of me more than she likes them. He's probably a mage, is what I'm thinking. I don't think Cook's likes herself much either these days. I have a new friend now. She understands me. She'll help make things fair again. And that's probably a demon. It knows we're here. It's a demon. Oh my! From the look of their clothes, I'd say these men were looters. <laughs> Not very good at it, were they? I thought, I, I, for a moment there, I thought Art said, from the look of their clothes, I'd say these were losers. <laughs> I'm like, Art! What? These candles are... Antina Chaillot, beloved Grand Marie, Grand Demir. Portrait of the Belle on Terre. General Matteo du Antare, feared by the Dog Lords. We should be able to open this. Everything grew silent. Why did everything go silent? Maybe I'll go there later. Open this one too. Just to give us a way out. Always look for ways out when you're in a... I feel like these corpses are gonna rise from the dead. The Dalish Woods in summer. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Oh boy. Dorian, hold me! Dorian, hold me! Servants' quarters. This is why I don't play scary games. Uh. Uh. This is the dining area. It's too quiet. When he opens the when he op unlocks the doors, it's way too quiet. All right. Fire's turning on. Well, at least the ghosts are considerate. Here, I'll turn on the lights for you instead of turning them off. Don't give them ideas. Don't give the ghosts any ideas. Oh boy. Uh, more bodies. So many bodies. Don't want to go upstairs yet. Oh my. A cook's diary. Pages tucked under a servant's mattress. Danelle noticed my unease and had been pestering me with questions about the girl. I told the dratted child to see to her duties and mind her own business, but at this rate she's going to start prying and something will have to be done about her. Danelle's not a bad sort, even if she's a bit lazy. It'd be a pity to have to tell the Lord de Antere that she's been troublesome. Maybe I could just have the child fired. She knows her letters and numbers. There are, ma there are any number of places that would take her. It's not too late for her. I wish it weren't too late for me and the others. I must go attend to my poor sweets. I hope today will be a good day. Mm. When the compass pulses, yeah. The formal gardens. Perhaps we should search about a bit. Sounds good. It's a key, I bet. Sketch of Chateau d'Anter interior. What was that? I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. Oh boy. It's such a sunny day. How could they make such a sunny day so creepy? All of these people are gonna wake up, are they? Is there anything here? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I told you they would wake. 
Take that. Die. You can't hurt me. Something is wrong. Pain or fear or sadness. Yeah. You said it. I told you they were going to get up and start walking. Searching the first floor. He's in the next room. Ballroom? What happened here? Don't scare me, guys. You, you shocked, you surprised me. So intense. I am not one for scary games at all, guys. Torn diary. Torn diary page. I had to make myself breakfast this morning. It wasn't very good. When I saw mother and father, I couldn't stop crying. I don't know what to do. My friend says there's there has to be a way to, to be less lonely. She says not to be afraid. There are other games you can try, and I will feel better. Yeah, it's a demon. Figures. Service. All right. Uh. Where does this take me? The Emerald Graves. Oh, okay. So we're back to. Okay. So we're back here. I want to go up the stairs now. Good, there's more light up here, so this should not be as bad, right? Oh, here he is. Yeah, right here. Sketch of sh sketch two of Chateau d'Anterre interior. Jeanette d'Entantre, matriarch of the house in Terry. This is so creepy. Balcony key required. Okay. Balconies. Oh look! There's there's strange activity over there. That is where we ultimately need to get to. Figured it out. So in the meantime... Hmm. Very disconcerting! There's a book over there. There's something over here. Boots. Firekeeper staff and Tiva Chopper. The girl in Red Crossing. Too long I have traveled. Soon I'll see her smiling. The girl in Red Crossing I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there. Daisies in her hair. Waiting by the Chantry to marry me. I dreamed of the kiss I stole neath the arbor. I dreamed of the promise neath the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there. Daisies in her hair. Waiting by the Chantry to marry me. One last dream to cross. One last hill to wander. Until I reach the love I'm longing to see. Oh, I knew she is there. Daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Running through the streets, only silence follows. Elven arrows sunk into the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there. Daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Ruby on the garden, petals lost and drifting. Take her to his side, Andras to hear my plea. I found her lying there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Not surprisingly, this folk song originates from the Red Crossing region, although it is known in various parts of Orlais. 
While clearly inspired by the events of the exalted March of the Dales, it is unknown whether the narrator and the eponymous, eponymous girl are based on actual figures or are representatives of the overall losses suffered at the Red Crossing. From Orlesian Musical Tradition by Sister Rosette, Tradition, published by the University of Orlais. The Antivan Kiss, Volume 1. Excerpt from the first volume of a popular romance serial known for frivolity and excess. Would they truly notice so brief an absence? He murmured softly. He kept his back to her, his eyes on the painting as though she did not excite the slightest interest. Would it be fair so very brief? She returned, the corner of his mouth twitched and smiled, a small triumph that served to quicken her pulse, making her mindful of her own countenance. It's so hard to make this sound sensual when you have ghostly, ghostly sounds in the background. The garden, he murmured softly and walked away without a glance in her direction. Her journey to the Tej maze was uneventful, although her heart yet quickened. At last, she, he pulled her into a dark alcove. So serene, that smirk of yours, he murmured in, his, in her ear. Let me see you smile. Slowly, he pulled the ribbon that bound her mask. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things to read in here. Of gods and doubt. Forgive me, I claimed, I belief, I claimed belief once. Swore with tears in my eyes that our lady was the light, and through her blessing I knew the maker. But I cannot brook the division between what I have tried to know and what I cannot ignore. Is the maker less silent than the profane elven pantheon, or the old gods of Tevinter? And what of archdemons that are not silent at all? We have real ongoing strife, all of us, every people in creed, that we each blame on the heretical actions of others. And yet, if any one of our truths was truth, that blame would be impossible. It is not just that these claims of divinity cannot exist, it is that no other claims could be made. If any one of those worshipped were ever truly God, I am ashamed my faith cannot withstand so pedestrian an argument. All I have learned in my time here is fear. Initiate Michaelia Cerveus. Go as you must, as must we all, but know that the only thing worse than a faith broken is a faith untested. Correspondence and Teachings of Mother Havara Valroyo Archive. Keeper fire staff. From the Canticle of Thronodites, an illuminated copy of the Chant of Light, a few of the pages have been bookmarked. In the secret they worked magic upon magic, all their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. Above them a river of light, before them the throne of heaven waiting, beneath their feet the footprints of the Maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. Canticle of Thronodites 8, chapter 8, verses 2 to 3. Secret reading. Pages of a letter have been hidden inside a copy of the Antivan Kiss, Volume 2. The box seems un unassuming, but I am told it works as intended. There is an enchantment to it. It attracted power before. If you want more details, we talk more coin. There are risks in asking too many questions. I doubt you care, so long as it helps with you with your problem. I'll expect my fee in due course. Superstitions. A book of superstitions. Several of the pages have been bookmarked. How to prevent magic formation in the earliest stages. Should mage blood run through your line, no matter how distant the relation, avoid conceiving in winter? While with child, sleep with dried embryum beneath your pillow to ensure good health. Infants and most children will show no signs of magic, however, you can purge the body of unwanted elements before they take hold. Place leeches on each of the child's limbs. When done, burn the leeches. Be sure not to inhale the smoke. Afterwards, wrap the child's limbs in cloth blessed by the Chantry sister. A child showing signs of magic may be submerged in water until the breath is nearly lost. If magic is still weak within them, it will die before the child. Should the trouble persist beyond reason, certain talisman may suppress the child's skill. What, what? fine reading material. Oh my gosh. There are more books on magic, how to contain it. And every single one is filled with superstitious nonsense. Exactly. Oh, that was bo that was very bothersome. Ugh. Very disturbing. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Not a good place I want to stick around for very long. Thank you for watching uh, this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves, love each other.